Hello everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. Today, I want to show you a great AI tool that can build a fully functional web apps for you in just a few minutes. Let me introduce you to V0. So V0 is simply an AI coding agent that specializes in building fast and beautiful full stack web applications. It enables you to build a fully functional application without knowing how to code as you simply need to describe your requirements in plain English. When it first launched, V0 can only be used to build simple apps with limited capabilities, but today it has everything you will ever need to build a full stack web application in minutes. It can generate an application by looking at a screenshot, show a preview of the generated app, and also has a code editor where you can edit the code manually. The platform also has integrations with important services like Superbase for authentication and database management, and GitHub for version control. Finally, you can deploy the app quickly into Versal, the hosting platform which also created the V0 platform so that other people can view and use your application. Which is why in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use V0 to literally build a full-stack application, connect it to a database, add authentication and real data, and deploy your app to the internet. To get started with V0, you can go to the platform at v0.dev, I will leave the link in the description, and here, you need to create a free account to store your app projects. Once you're logged into the dashboard here, you can see your account details in the sidebar over here, where you can see existing chat sessions and projects. And so, here's the main UI of V0. This input box is where you enter the prompt to generate your web app. For example, I'm going to put create a note-taking app here. If you have designed files for your app, you can also attach them using this attach button over here. It allows you to attach images or Figma files for V0 to use in the process. Next, there's the Enhanced Prompt feature that will automatically improve your prompt. This is useful when you have a hard time to come up with a comprehensive prompt. Let's click on it to show you an example. You can see V0 develop the prompt in more detail, adding core functionalities, user authentication, and responsive design. But if you already have a detailed prompt in mind, then you probably won't need this feature as it can cause V0 to build a different app than what you already have in mind. Next, there is the model selection on the left side of the input box. Here, you can select the AI model that will be used for this generation. There is V0 small, medium, and large models. I recommend you to use the medium model because it's the most suitable for everyday tasks and UI generation as shown here. Next, below the input box, there are buttons for quick actions with V0, such as clone a screenshot, import from Figma, build a landing page, and so on. Below that, you have projects created by the community, which you can copy over as your project by clicking this open in V0 button. For example, let's copy this floating bubbles project. And now the project is copied into your account, you can add changes to it or inspect the code, do anything you want as it's now your project. Next, we're going to build a project from scratch, so let's get back to the home screen. Okay, it's time to create our first app with V0. In the input box, I'm going to type a markdown-based note-taking app with folders, tags, search, and syntax high collecting. And now, just hit enter to start creating. Now V0 will think for a way to respond to our request. And here we are back to the V0 project UI. It is structured where we have a chat-like conversation with the artificial intelligence on the left side, and then our code files and previews will be to the right side over here. While it's generating the code, you can select the code view over here and see what files are being processed by V0. You can actually scroll down here and see the code coming out live, which is pretty cool. There is nothing to do for now, so I will skip ahead to when the generation is finished. Okay, now V0 has finished generating the output, here's our note-taking app, so let's try it out a bit. Let's edit the node, change the title, and then change some text, and then save. Okay, the node is now edited, there are folders for the nodes on the left side, and I will create a new node over here, name it as work notes, to-do list, and then paste some content, save again, and now the node is saved, delete a node, that node is deleted, now create another one. And then try out the search box. And here we can search for specific nodes, so good work. Next, I want to show you the selector feature. 
So in V0, you can select a specific element on the screen that you want to edit by clicking on the selector icon. Now we are in the selector mode, so we can select any element we want to refer to. For example, this delete button over here is too similar to other buttons. I want to change the background color to red to make it stand out more. So click on the button, and then in this chat box, I will say change the background color to red. Click submit. And now V0 will work exclusively with that element. And here's the result. You can see the background of the delete button is now red. By the way, Verso also keep all versions of the generated code. So if you click on this version option, you can see that the version 1 is still available in case you want to revert the changes. Finally, there is also the code view that will open the code editor interface where you can edit the code manually. If you know how to code, feel free to edit the code base and apply some changes over here. Now, if you want to share the app with the world, we can also deploy this app to Versal by clicking on this button at the top, and then click the Deploy to Production button. Now the app will be deployed to Versal, and you can view the full log on the platform. Wait for a moment. And now the app has been deployed to Versal. So we can click on this link here to open the app. And just like that, we now have an application accessible from the internet. If you make some changes in the future, you can redeploy to Versal anytime you want. Next, you can also export the generated code by clicking on this download code button. Here, you can download the code as a zip file, or you can use the npx command to add the code to your code base. Now, I want to show you how you can synchronize your V0 project to GitHub. To do so is very simple. Just click on the GitHub icon over here, and you will be asked to authorize V0 to your GitHub account if you haven't already. Now, you need to select the GitHub account where the repository will be created, and then type the name of the repository over here. I will just name this as V0 not taking app, and then click create repository, and that's it. Now the code in this project is synced to GitHub. And anytime V0 makes some changes, those changes will be committed to the GitHub repository over here. Click this button to view the GitHub repo, and now you can clone the code in the repo or download it as a zip file just like any other code repository. Next, I want to show you how to add a database and authentication in your app. Right now, the data included in this app is stored in the browser. As you can see in the code view over here, the data is retrieved from local storage, so if the user opens the app from another browser, the data will not show up. To add a database in V0, you can activate the Superbase integration. Now, Superbase is a back-end platform where we can create database and set up authentication for our app. They have a free tier that we can use with our V0 app. So to use it, simply click on the settings icon and then the integrations option. Here, you can see all the integrations provided by V0 for your app. Select the Superbase integration here. Now, you will be asked to create a Superbase account in Versal. You can read the terms if you want to, and then click Accept and Create. Wait for a moment, and then you will be asked to create a database in Superbase. You can select the region where the database will be generated. I will just go with the recommended option. Next, there is the installation plan. Just select the free option for the tutorial, and then it will ask for the name of the database. Just use the default is fine. Now click create. And the database is now created and integrated in Versal. Click done, and we will be taken back to V0. Let V0 process the integration for a while. And now Superbase is integrated and ready to use. So let's ask V0 to create an authentication system with email and password, and store all data in Superbase. Press enter and let V0 work on the request. I will skip again to when it's finished. Okay, so now the authentication system is set up. As you can see, there is the sign in or sign up page here. On the left side, V0 wants to run an SQL script. Click on the name to open the script. The script here will create the tables and add policies required for our app. Now, before running the script, you need to see if V0 generate a query to set the JWT token as seen on the screen. And if you see it, please delete it because it will cause an error. The GWT token is already set when we create a Superbase instance earlier, so it's no longer needed. Now run the script, and with that, we can now use the app connected to a database. 
So back in preview, let's sign up with an account. And here we're in the app. Now let's create some notes. I will create two notes over here. And then we will go to Superbase and see if the data is added over there. Click settings and then select integration again. In Superbase menu, click manage. And then open in Superbase over here. Here, find the table editor button, click that, and here are our tables. Click on the folders table, we can see the data, and then notes. Here we can see the notes we created earlier. That means Superbase is successfully integrated to our V0 app. Very nice. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. And that's how you can use V0 to create a full stack web app from a few prompts. Overall, V0 is a great platform that provides all the features you need to build a beautifully designed web app from scratch. The recent upgrades in V0 has made it a powerful platform that integrates with important services such as GitHub and Superbase. It also has its own AI models, which are the V0 models, showing that the team is dedicated to make V0 the best platform for building web apps in a snap. When the app is finished, you can deploy your application to Versal with just one click, and V0 will handle the rest for you. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So, what do you think about the v0.dev platform? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify tech topics so that you can master them easily. So make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting or useful. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, and all the other good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in other videos. Bye bye.